Welcome to Ranger Reviews, a web series where we look at episodes of the TV show Power Rangers and then discuss them. Today we're exploring the 104th episode of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, as well as the 44th episode of Season 2 titled Return of the Green Ranger Part 1. We begin this episode at Angel Grove High where Miss Appleby gives an assignment about what period of history everyone would like to have lived in. Then we see the Ranger teens walking out of class to a courtyard that we've never seen before because, surprise, we're still in Australia. Australia. Kim wants to go back to last year when there was a sale that she missed because she was sick. Dumb. Next. Rocky says he'd like to be a Viking because he always loved reading those books. He can't read. Next. Tommy says that he wants to be in the days of King Arthur and does a freaking karate pose. Idiot. Next. On the moon, Zed decides that he should send them all back in time. Goldar suggests that the Ghost of Darkness could conjure up a wizard that will send them back in time. Zed and Rita are also on the rocks, and Zed is confused as to why they even got married. Billy wants to go back to meet Albert Einstein. Decent. Next. Adam wants to go to the Renaissance period because it was more romantic. If you call pooping in a cesspit romantic, sure Adam. Hulk and Skull are also in the background of this scene and they just leave. Rita talks to the Ghost of Darkness, who is a Halloween decoration in front of her. He says that they need to get rid of the White Ranger in order to have this plan work. The Wizard of Deception will create the being who will be able to take on the White Ranger. Then we see the Wizard. And he's got some luscious locks. Oh my god, yes! Gaga, you look beautiful! Hulk and Skull are walking away, and they get eye-banged by the Wizard of Deception, who tells them to go get a sample of Tommy's hair so that he can clone him, but they're too stupid to just do it, so he has to zap their feet too. Can we also talk about how most of his face is bad CGI that clips sometimes and you see a person's lips? Amazing Power Rangers. Rita talks to Fencer and she catches him up on how there's going to be another Tommy, so she's going to recreate the evil Green Ranger. Meanwhile, Tommy and Kim are walking in a park holding hands. They sit down on a nearby bench as Bulk and Skull come up and they talk to the two of them and they try to cut his hair, but Tommy catches them and they run away. Kim is going to meet up with Aisha at the mall and Tommy's going to meet up with her after he works out. Then Bulk and Skull get pretty much killed by the Wizard of Deception. Tommy's on his own when he says an awkward hello to a couple of extras before the Wizard of Deception appears in front of him. Tommy reaches out to Alpha and Zordon and Zordon claims that the Wizard of Deception is his old rival. Then putties appear in front of Tommy and he starts to fight them. Meanwhile, Billy, Adam, and Rocky are at that one courtyard still and they get in touch with Alpha and they move out to help Tommy. The five teleport in somewhere and there's a weird panning shot of the five of them before they start fighting the putties and they start to fight while it's like intercut with Tommy also fighting. Then Tommy gets tossed like a goddamn ragdoll by a putty in the most comedic use of wire work yet. Doesn't matter though because Tommy gets held back and the wizard appears behind him, zapping him unconscious while a putty cuts out a lock of Tommy's hair gives it to him, and then he disappears as do the rest of the putties. Kim and the others stumble upon the knocked out Tommy, and Rocky says, who was that lizard dude? Did you mean wizard, Rocky? Did no one notice he said the wrong word? Whatever, the wizard creates another Tommy from the lock of hair on the world's most underwhelming hill. Billy then comes in to talk to the others about how the wizard can create things out of other things. Also, Tommy says he has a headache and he's going to skip out on the mall while the evil Tommy is just partially in the bushes, chewing on grass. Never mind, this is the content I love, Power Rangers. Zed and the wizard talk, and the wizard plans to send the other rangers back into the past. Evil Tommy lurks around some bushes before he sits on a bench and he contacts the other rangers, telling them to meet him at Angel Grove City Limits sign at the outskirts of town. He also now has a green communicator instead of a white one. They try to call Zordon and Tommy tells them no, and the wizard appears and they try to morph and Tommy stops them. And Kim says, Tommy no, in the most heartbreaking way. They're then sent back in the past as they hold on to the sign and now they're in Angel Grove in the late 1700s. People are freaking out, calling them witches because they just appeared out of nowhere. And Billy says, no, we're not. We're just from another place in time. Like, that makes any more sense. Also, some random girls just running around. Also, why is everyone British if this is supposed to be in California? Shouldn't they be Spanish? Whatever, the five rangers are running through this historical Sydney, Australia set, and they meet up with this random girl again who helps them hide in a barn. Tommy runs into those extras again and he asks if they've seen the guys, and she says, have you checked Ernie's? And he says, okay, thanks. 
like that's a response? He walks away and runs into the evil clone of himself and he says, who are you? Dude, Tommy, I mean, come on. To be continued. This episode is interesting only because of the Green Ranger aspect, to be honest. Other than that, it's pretty generic and it's pretty obviously been slapped together at the last second in order to get something in the can. However, some of these egregious errors are hilarious. Like, Rocky calls something a lizard that just isn't one. Tommy's just like a straight up dick to some girl. Tommy also doesn't know who someone literally is when they're him. I mean, this episode's a microcosm of everything that is Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. How will next time, how will next time struggle? Until then, may the power protect you.